Hello, we're going to put a timer switch in here for these lights because they're always leaving the lights on and the position of the lights to the fan I believe the the lights should be first switch and the fan should be the second switch so we're going to change the rotation of that location of that and we're going to add a timer switch in here for the lights This is the ground wire on the plug, I mean on the switch, the just removing the ground. Once again, I'm doing it hot. Uh, if you're a homeowner, please shut the switch off. And one of my guys made up this box. I can tell that this is a switch leg because this is what we do. We put a little curly cue in the switch leg. So this one's your hot. And this is your switch leg. This is what we always do to mock out a switch leg. Touch these together. So we got a little bit of light. So this is going to move over to here. You can see that this was marked FAU, a fan, F-A-N. And it also has a little curly Q on it. And we're going to explain the curly Q and some of the other stuff we do. I've been doing this over 50 years and I have multiple crews. So we do everything the same way so that if a different crew comes back to finish something, they can just look at our boxes and everything's done the same way. This is the power coming in. And this is the switch leg. We call the switch leg the wire that goes up to the fan or to the light. And we always put a little loop in it like this, like that, when we make up the box so that we know when we come back to put the switches on that that is the switch leg and this is the hot. There's multiple ways to wire switches, but I demand that all my guys now wire with the neutrals in the box because a lot of the stuff that we're adding these days, like this timer switch, needs a neutral. Pre-wired. I know there's a lot of different ways to wire switches and that, but with everything needing neutrals these days, I always make sure that we run the neutral, the hot and the neutral to the box instead of wire it to the fan fan or the light and bring switch legs down so um, I know there's a lot of different ways of doing it but if you want to do it right and not have a callback that's what you do this switch can be either a single pole or a three-way so this extra wire here is the wire for the three-way which we're not going to use. So I'm going to terminate it and put a wire nut on it. This particular plug has a wire and it's a stranded wire. So I can't twist. When you're doing stranded wire to solid wire, you can't twist. You just get them evil. Make sure that they're good and tight. And there you go. So now I'm going to hook up my neutral. The neutral is all twisted really nice. I'm going to twist my wire right in the groove there so it sits in there nice. Even a stranded wire, it's going to sit in there really nice. And then the wire nut tightens up. And some of you guys are using those pushing connectors. I don't allow those on my jobs. I've been doing this 50 years and I just want a good clean connection. You can see the wire on this switch is a good sol uh, stranded number 12. This switch is rated for, I believe, 1800 watts. So this is a heavy duty timer switch. So the lights are gonna go off here. I'm gonna undo it. Once again, I'm doing this hot. So I know 
that the one with the little loop in it, I know the one with the loop on it is my switch leg. So I know that one gets tied to the red. You get them up there nice. Get the wire nut on there. I want to make sure that that's stranded. That's one of your tougher connections. You strand it to solid. And there you go. So now we just got to tuck everything nicely back in the back of the box. The new timer switch is a larger switch. And that's a lot of your electronic switches and some of your other switches are getting bulky. You gotta make sure we tuck everything in nice. So now we have the fan on the inside so we won't be hitting it every time we come into the room to try to turn the light on. This is a timer switch. So this, that's on and off. And then you just hit the times. So it's 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Or 60 minutes. The reason I'm putting the timer switch here is this light seems to always be left on. With a timer switch, that can't happen. And that's it. There's the fan, and there's the another easy fix. You change the locations of the switch because the fan was the first switch and we wanted the second switch. And we took the light switch out, the manual light switch, because these lights were being left on all the time, to a timer switch. If it's an Airbnb, people tend to leave stuff on all the time, so they can't. After an hour, the lights go off. A, a Leviton switch from Home Depot, and it's uh, rated at 20 amps. And it's good for heat lamps, hot tubs, Oh, attic, exhaust fans, and stuff like that. This has a lot of application.